For years, I've been teaching people how to safely observe the sun. As you may have seen in my previous video, ignoring the advice can lead to devastating consequences for your eyesight. Now, on May the 9th this year, Mercury will transit across the disk of the sun, starting at about 11.15 GMT and finishing around 18.42, but the times vary a little bit depending on your location. Now, you'll need a small telescope to watch it, but you must also use one of the safe observing techniques that I'm about to show you to avoid damage to your eyes. What you mustn't do is use solar filters that just fit on the eyepiece. Thankfully, these are pretty rare now, but they will crack under the intense energy from the sun. Also, don't think it's safe to use sunglasses, welders, masks, or other darkened media to look through the telescopes. Instead, there are one or two safe techniques tried and tested that you can use. Number one, project an image of the sun onto a piece of card or white paper. Now, if you've got a telescope that's larger than three or four inches in aperture, then make up a mask to sit on the front end of the telescope to limit the amount of sunlight entering the instrument. Make sure you keep any finder telescopes covered up and then line the telescope up on the sun by making the shadow on the ground as small as possible. Then you just need to place a piece of card at the eyepiece end of the telescope, about a foot away from the eyepiece, and you'll see a projected image of the sun. Now don't leave your telescope pointing at the sun for too long because the optics can still get quite hot and even melt the glue in some of the eyepieces. Number two, you can use a piece of mylar or barda film, which is a special solar filter that looks a little bit like tin foil. Now hold it up to the light to make sure there are no scratches or holes in it, and if in doubt, don't use it. But all you need to do is attach it securely to the front end of the telescope with maybe tape or an elastic band or two. Some people even make up a holder, make sure it doesn't fall off, and then you look through the telescope just as normal. But you won't see anything unless you're pointing at the sun. The filters are that efficient. Number three, you can use a specialist solar filter like this one, which actually comes in two parts. One fits on the front end of the telescope and the other fits near the eyepiece. And they just let through the hydrogen alpha light from the sun, which gives a great view of the flares and prominences erupting from the limb of the sun. And again, perfectly safe to use in a normal fashion. So when you're watching Mercury pass in front of the sun or at any other time when you're solar observing, make sure you use one of these techniques and you'll be sure of getting some wonderful, and safe views of our nearest star, the Sun.